Bismillah walhamdulillah wassalatu wassalamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in amma ba'd Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi brothers and sisters, welcome back to a brand new video In today's video, I want to talk about judging people and how my perspective of things and people have changed ever since I became a Muslim and started to learn more about Islam in the past, sometimes I tend to judge people on certain things, on the things that they do, on the things that they say. And in the past, when I see poor people, sometimes I would think to myself, you know, this person, you know, he's poor because he didn't work hard enough. He didn't study hard enough in school and he didn't go to a good school. He didn't do well. He didn't do well at his job. You know, it's because he's in charge of his own life. He didn't do these things and that is why, you know, he's where he is today. And these are the things that sometimes will come to my mind, you know, when I see certain things in public, right? And I realize now that it is a very, you know, wrong thing to do, right? And I started to understand more and learn more about, you know, all these different things, right? And why things are the way that they are, right? I used to always look at one side of the story only, you know, when I see what I see, you know, I believe what I see, that's all. That's what I believed in last time, right? If I see that you are not well to do, you know, it means that you didn't work hard enough. You know, this is my mindset last time. And things have started to change once I learned more about Islam and learned more about the things that we should do as Muslims, right? To behave, right? Don't judge people because of what you see, right? There can be many stories behind it. It can be a test for him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You wouldn't know that. And I wouldn't know that. Only Allah knows that, right? And some people say there's two sides to a story. But I believe now that personally, there is three sides to a story. For example, if there's something going on between two persons, there is always one side of the story and the other side of the story, right? Two different persons with two different perspectives on what actually happened. But there is also another side of the story, which is the story and the side of the story that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sees, right? You know, this person may have this perspective that he thinks happen and he thinks that this is the right thing, right? This person thinks that this is the right thing. So which is really the right thing? We wouldn't know, right? We wouldn't know because we are not there to see. We are not there to judge, right? We are not there to personally witness. There can be many, many things that happened behind the scenes. There can be many, many things else that we don't know about, right? So who knows? Only... Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows and we don't have the right to you know just look at certain things and certain people right and think oh he didn't work hard that's why he's poor right maybe he didn't have the things that he needed to have in order to have a good education right maybe he don't have money he was born maybe in a poor family and he couldn't study right there is no proper education for him or maybe he used his money to pay for his family's medical bill, right? Maybe there can be some emergency and he needs to cover up for the cost, right? And he sacrificed his money for the medical bills, right? So there, there can be many, many things that happen that we don't know about. And that is when I changed my perspective on a lot of things. There's always more to what we see ourselves. There's always more to what we can hear ourselves. There's always more things that goes on that we don't know about or they don't tell us about. Right. And nowadays, when you look at online drama, right, like YouTubers, you know, saying this about this certain person, right, people talking bad about this certain people, right, do you really know what happened? You are just hearing one side of the story from one person and you are just hearing another side of the story from another person, right? And so, why are we caring so much, right? If if this person is correct, does it have any benefits to you? If this person is wrong, does it have any benefits to you? Right. If this person is lying, does it have any certain benefits to you? There isn't really any actual benefit that you can benefit from this. Right. There isn't any actual thing that you can get out of this other than your own satisfaction. Right, other than our own satisfaction of what we feel is correct. And some people always tend to think that what they know is always correct. And that is an ego problem. 
you know, there's things that is going on with the YouTube community, the Muslim YouTube community. I don't really want to say what it is about, but I think some of you might know. And the problem is, people care too much about what doesn't matter to them. If this person does a certain thing, right, why are we to care so much about it, right? There is no point. There is no point to care so much about it, right? Because it wouldn't matter, right? It wouldn't matter to us, right? If this person does this thing, right, will our life change today, tomorrow, the next day? No, it, it won't change, right? Our life still goes on, goes on as normal, right? It doesn't affect our life in any way. People just care so much about what doesn't matter to them. And, um, you know, like once I learn more about Islam, you know, our journey in our life, it is all a test. It is all a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? Whatever we do, whatever we say, you know, Allah knows. Allah knows everything, right? And what if on the day of judgment, you know, whatever you say about this certain person, whatever you think about this certain person, right? What if you are wrong, right? What if you are wrong? How will you answer for this false accusation that you make about this certain person? And so what I have learned, you know, is to just do good deeds, right? Do good deeds, do charity, you know, just perform what is obligatory to us, do what is the sunnah to us. You know, it is not in the sunnah to go and talk bad about people, right? It is not in the Quran to go and falsely accuse other people and make up what you think is correct. We are not the judge, right? The best judge is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I think this is, you know, one of the things that I've learned, you know, it is not just about, you know, praying five times a day, right? Although it is obligatory, but you know, five times a day, praying five times a day, that's maybe only about 30 minutes of our lives, right? But what, we, what do we do with the remaining 23 hours of our lives? That is what matters, you know? That is what matters as well, right? Because whatever we do at that time, you know, we can be rude to our parents, you know, that is also not allowed in Islam, right? During that time, there is 23 hours of things that you can do, right? 23 hours that you have to gain rewards. 23 hours in the day that you have to gain more good deeds that will help you on your day of judgment. And do you think gossiping about people, judging people, will it bring you good deeds and increase your chance of going to Jannah? I personally wouldn't think so. And um, so my perspective in life has really changed and in a good way you know in a really good way right so right now you know when i see certain things or see certain things that happen or when i see certain people right i would always think twice before actually doing anything right i would actually think twice do i really want to say this right do i really want to do this will what i say matter at all you know does it change anything at all what if I'm wrong, right? What if I'm wrong about these certain people? And this is one of the biggest change other than my daily routine, right? Which is praying five times a day, you know, and all these different um, practice of um, Islam. This is another biggest part of change in my life. And I hope that this video will also help to change some people's mind, um, whether or not you are Muslim or not, right? whether or not you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether or not are you in the Islam. Just take a second to think whether or not, you know, this incident or this thing will affect your life in any single way. If not, then just move on, right? Just mind your own business, right? I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. I hope that um, this video will serve helpful um, to change some people's mindset. I will see all of you in my next video, inshallah. I hope that all of you have a nice day. Jazakallah. Khairan. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bye bye.